All right, this video is going to do example two, just flow in a sewer system. And so a problem set up is we have the discharge in a three mile long, 60 inch reinforced concrete pipe sewer is 50 million gallons per day. And we want to find what the flow depth is if the entire sewer is on a 0.1% slope and the downstream boundary condition is normal depth. And so how do we do that? And just like the prior problem, we would go ahead and start with a swim model. Um, at least that's a lot easier than doing it by hand, although this one's pretty simple to do by hand. Uh, in fact, you did something like this on your exam. Start with an outfall. And we've gone and calculated the spacing required. Um, you could probably do this as one three mile long link, but I'm gonna do it as shorter lengths. Uh, each one 2,640 feet. So I'm going to need six of them. Okay, again it's a drawing so it doesn't really matter how they're spaced out. I do want to set the project defaults. So now it's circular sewer. Um, the links are now 2640. Flow units, we want to convert them to million gallons per day. Conduit roughness is 0 0.015. And we want to make the circular geometry. Uh, these are in feet. So there are going to be five of them, five feet. Choose the okie dokie. Choose it again. And we'll go ahead and start drawing our sewers. Next, we'll have to go ahead and set the uh, invert elevations. And it's on a one part in a thousand, so every link is 2.64 feet. So this is 2.64. This one's 5.28. This one's 7.92. This one's 10.56. This one, 13.2. And this one, 15.84. Okay, make sure I did that right. Yep, just seems steeper to me. Okay, so three miles we drop roughly uh, 13 feet, 15 feet in three miles. Yeah, that's pretty flat. Uh, verify the sewer pipes are the correct uh, diameter. They're five feet, they're 2640 long. Roughness is set correctly. All we do now is tell that the outfall is no longer free. Normal outfall. And lastly, we have to supply the input at the upstream end. Baseline input is 50 million gallons per day. Choose OK. Go into options. Set general to, actually in this case, the steady flow will work. Run that, if we go ahead and generate a profile. Start node, end node, find path, okay. And we have an interesting condition that these up these two upstream ends are surcharged. Since I still don't trust the steady flow routing model, I'll go ahead and rerun it. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, using the dynamic routing model. And in steady flow, this sewer is full. In fact, it's running surcharged. And that presents an interesting uh, opportunity here. Let's adjust the inflow a little bit. Let's say it was at, instead of 50 million gallons a day, 30. So at 30 million gallons a day, it looks like it's a little bit more than half full. at 40 million gallons a day. A little bit more. 49 million gallons a day. Uh, that might fill it up. Yep, it's uh, surcharged. So the sewer statement can't actually accommodate um, 50 million gallons a day without going into a pipe under pressure. I think 45 it can handle. So 45 million gallons a day, uh, that's what the water surface would look like in this sewer system. Now let's look at another interesting thing. We're going to change that downstream boundary condition to a free outfall. Change it from normal to free, where it can assume critical depth and rerun it. you see we can accommodate quite a bit more flow. We could probably even get that 50 million gallons a day to fit. And so the boundary condition is vital. A free outfall means that the water is pouring out of the sewer and has distance to drop. It's not normal depth. Yeah, we can almost fit 50 million gallons a day into that sewer if it's a free outfall, but not if it has a normal flow pattern. And that's how to do example two. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay, that's example two.